Hello fellow Christian fiction lovers, welcome to another video. I've seen a couple other booktubers do this concept before. I think it's actually like a challenge on booktube. Not quite sure, but I really like the concept and it's actually something that I thought of before I even realized it was a thing. So we're going to do it and that is picking the best and worst book on each of my shelves. So I have eight bookshelves. I can never remember for some reason. I only have eight, yet I have to count, recount them every single time. Um, anyway, so I have eight shelves and we're just gonna be picking the best and worst book off of each shelf and I guess I'll be telling you why. This is just kind of a fun challenge, a little game thing. But anyway, yeah, we're gonna start with, technically that's shelf A up there, but like I feel like we need to go from left to right. Okay, so you've been, here, I'll stand over here. You've been raised and zoomed in, and I hope this doesn't look too weird. It looks weird to me on the viewfinder, but that's just because I'm all the way over here and my face looks very up close. Um, anyway, okay, so this is the first shelf. This is all of my, like, children's books, if that makes sense. I have a whole bookshelf tour video that I will link in the description if you want to see that. Okay, this is actually really a lot harder than I thought because I've only really kept children's books on that shelf that I actually like genuinely enjoy and would recommend to not just children but to anybody but uh, I think for should we go least favorite and then favorite how should we do it okay least favorite or worst is the mother goose diaries by Chris Colfer it was cute they're just it was a little political at certain parts and I didn't really like that like politics don't belong in children's literature uh, favorite is the miraculous journey of Edward Tulane I absolutely adore this book and the parallels it draws to life it is just such an amazing book and yeah I could like write a whole paper on why this book is absolutely phenomenal and I fell in love with it as a kid and then you know Growing up and rereading it so many times, I realized like, oh, it's not just a story of a China bunny. It's so much more than that. But okay, favorite or best and worst. I don't like the word worst. Okay, next shelf down is all of the classics that I own, almost all of them. The ones that I don't like aren't on the shelf. So again, this is going to be a little harder than I thought. Okay, for least favorite, we're gonna go with The Scarlet Letter because I had to read this for school and it was so long and yes, it's like a good book and it like makes good points and all of that, but I just didn't really like it. And then for favorite, no surprise here, Emma by Jane Austen. This is like my favorite book ever. Although this was kind of close with Jane Eyre, which I think I've read Jane Eyre and Emma the same amount of times, but Emma for sure. I. Love, 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 love this book. So the next shelf down is basically just a bunch of odds and ends. It's a very conglomerate, like conglomeration of stuff. So we're just gonna move on to the next shelf over. Okay, boom, moved over. So this is all of my biblical fiction. This is going to be hard. What you guys don't know is that behind this book, there are more books. <laughs> okay, for least favorite, I'm gonna go with Of Fire and Lines by Misu Andrews. I did like this book. It's all about um, Daniel's wife in the Old Testament, basically going from childhood to old age and just exploring the life of Daniel through her eyes. And I did really, I liked this book, but I don't know. I just didn't love it. It felt like there was not very much plot and the way it was written with like going back in time and then going forward in time it just wasn't really my favorite but I did like it like I'd recommend it so that's why this video is hard and then for favorite book I would have to go with Wings of the Wind by Conlon Cosette it is the last book in the Out of Egypt series and it is buried under six other books so I'm not going to dig it out but that would have to be my favorite okay next shelf down is a lot of my historical fiction Oh, favorite on this shelf and least favorite. There's a lot of just like good books on this shelf. There's, you know, just they're like, they're good. They're, they're on the same level. Okay, least favorite is once again in a stack. It's the whole uh, Lowlands of Scotland trilogy. I'm not just gonna pick one. They're all, probably the last one I disliked the most. Once Came a Prince, yeah. 
didn't like those books. They probably will be removed from the shelf eventually. Favorite, The Hidden Side by Heidi Chevaroli. I've talked extensively about this book in other videos. It is a freaking masterpiece, people. Okay, I've moved you back down to the normal position for the next two shelves. Oh, the next shelf is all my World War fiction. Okay, least favorite would be, this is not World War, this is just happened to be on the shelf, but it is The White City by Grace Hitchcock. This book was good, like I did like this book, but it's basically just a like make you smile book. Kind of, it, it, It's sort of a mystery, but I just found the protagonist to be very underdeveloped and not, I don't know, just too cliche and by the end, she progressed like that much. I, f I felt like her love interest in the book was actually a much better character than her. So I'm very divided about it. Like it's a cute book and I'd recommend it if you just want like a light flowery read, but I want deeper than that. So that's the least favorite for this shelf. Favorite is The Paris Dressmaker by Christy Cambrin. As of right now, this is my most favorite World War II novel, and I'm not sure that place is going to be taken over. It would take a like absolutely immaculate, beautiful, stunning novel to replace this spot. Okay, next shelf down is the contemporary fiction. You can kind of see it. You can see it enough. Okay, the least favorite on the shelf was actually pretty hard because for some reason, I've just kept a lot of my contemporary fiction up, even the ones that I don't like. I think tying for least favorite, the actual physical book is in this stack here, but would be A Time to Stand, this is The just Dust Jacket by Robert Whitlow and The Girl Behind the Red Rope by Ted Decker and Rachel Decker, which is his daughter. Both of these books underwhelmed me. This book, confused me. This book underwhelmed me and I really did not like how it was written the way that racism and justice in the South was portrayed. Just really didn't like it. Um, so yeah, those tie for least favorite. And would you believe it? I had to read these books back to back. Not had to, I chose to. Okay, most favorite would 100% be The Atonement Child by Francine Rivers. This book paints the whole picture of abortion and that topic in like the best way I have ever read and like just clarifies how it's not so black and white for a lot of mothers, but ultimately comes to the conclusion of pro-life, but gets to it in just the best way ever. I love this book. <laughs> The next shelf down is all of my nonfiction. I will like insert a picture or something somewhere on the screen, uh, but I'll just go ahead and pick it like right now. I feel like I need to break this into two sections because I have all of my like self-help and motivational books and then I have all of my like biographical books. So I'm gonna split it. I'm making up the, my own rules at this point. We're just splitting it. Okay, for least favorite in self-help, motivational, whatever, it would be The Circle Maker. I did like this book and it has a lot of good um, it's like tactics or principles and encouragement for prayer, but I just didn't feel like it was super biblically grounded. It was a good book and I'd recommend it if you just want some encouragement on prayer, but I gotta be honest, I haven't actually applied like any of these principles to my prayer life and I'm doing just fine. So it's not like, li it wasn't life changing for me. Favorite book, that this book was life-changing, is Falling Free by Shannon Martin. This book, I know I'm pretty young to, like I'm, I'm younger than the target audience for this book, but I want the principles she brought about in this book to shape my life. You know, I create my own rules and then I make life really hard on myself. I cannot pick like a favorite or least favorite. Okay, least favorite was kind of easy and that would be Now I See by Jenny L. Coat. I just didn't really love the style of this book and it's actually not mine, it is my mother's. So mom, I'm bringing this back to you. You may do with it what you want. <laughs> Favorite, um, I guess I'll go with The Hiding Place by Corrie Ten Boom. This book is just life-changing. I've read it so many times and it always makes me super, super grateful for the life I live. I have a whole video on it talking about why it's so good. Okay, so that was the least favorite and favorite worst best, best worst books on each of my shelves, according to me. <laughs> 
and some of these are actually really hard because I do try to keep books that I genuinely enjoy. But yeah, that was the video. This was super fun, super easy to do. It could be fun for you to do just personally on your own, but let me know what you thought about it. Let me know if you've read any of my favorites or least favorites and agree or disagree with my thoughts. But thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe. And I will see you Tuesday for whatever video that is. Until then.